Disclaimer. This lecture video is based on the module that is provided by the college and the university. Unfortunately, the said PDF module is exclusively downloadable for NEOC CICD students only. Hello guys and good day and welcome to our chapter 2 of our mobile app development. And for today, we will going to talk about the structure, which is the Ionic Web Components. And these are the contents of this video. First, we will going to create and run the application. Number two, we will going to uh, break down the structure. Number three is what is attribute. So let's start. So let's create our first app. I will change the directory to desktop to my Ionic folder and let's take a look kung ano yung mga laman okay so to create an app instead of typing Ionic start app name then type of template you want na itinuro ko dun sa last video you can just simply type Ionic start then hit enter let's choose angular as our framework and now you can type whatever project name you want for this one I will going to use forms Let's choose blank para hindi tayo mahirapan sa pag-customize later on. Integrate your new app with Capacitor. So let's choose yes. Then we will wait until it's done. Basically, it depends on how fast your internet connection is. Kung medyo mabagal yung internet mo, matagal yung part na ito. So here is my Ionic folder. And inside is our newly, freshly created forms folder. So let's take a look what's look like before we start running it. Since nasa Ionic folder tayo, pasok muna tayo sa forms folder. Then we can now use the command Ionic serve. So here is our app. Let's have a better view by right clicking on this area. Then inspect element. Or you can choose the shortcut keys F12 and Control shift i Let's open our forms folder using IDE. I'm now using Sublime Text 3 on my desktop, Ionic Folder, Forms, then Select Folder. Expand Forms, then Source Folder, App, Home, then open home.page.html. So I've just deleted all the source code of our home.page.html to discuss properly the structure ng gagawin nating application for today. We will begin on our basic structure with ion header and ion content. If you remember, sa HTML, sa body tayo usually nagta-type ng mga gusto nating mag-appear sa website natin. So dito naman sa web component na ion header, this will serve as our header app which is unlike sa header tag ni HTML Dito kay component, nag appear yung kung ano yung tinatype mo sa kanya. Same as Ion Content. Para maging mas maayos yung header natin, pwede natin ipasok yung text sa Ion Title component and ganito yung magiging resulta. Okay, so medyo mas maganda na siya. Pero kung gusto nating mas i-format pa ng uh, balance, yung margin and padding ng header, we can use Ion Toolbar and ipasok natin sa loob yung Ion Title together with the text. Okay, that's nice. But I will change the text into uh, NERST COVID-19 Monitoring App. Dito naman sa Ion Content, dito natin ilalagay mostly yung mga ibang components natin. And as you can see, Medyo nakadikit masyado yung text natin sa gilid, kaya let's use Ion Card para maging ganito yung itsura niya. As you can see, nagkaroon siya ng border and padding or margin sa top, left, and right ng ating canvas. Si Ion Card ay may component pa na pupwedeng mga ilagay sa loob. We can use Ion Card Header and Ion Card Content, pero gawin muna natin si Ion Header. Dito, pwede tayong maglagay ng title using Ion Card Title and subtitle naman using Ion Card Subtitle. So, 
So let's replace this title and use another meaningful title and subtitle for our app. Okay, so let's create ion card content naman and mag-sample tayo ng dummy text. Looks good. But now, instead of putting this text sa loob ng ion card content na bold na bold lang siya nandito, palitan muna natin siya ng text, then ilagay natin siya sa loob ng ion label, which is kung i-compare natin sa HTML, siya si label tag. Almost the same lang din sila ng effect na kapag katinignan mo yung output is parang wala naman nangyayari. Pero, pwede natin gaming control ito whenever na magde-design tayo or something. Now, since forms yung gagawin natin and we will put input sa loob, we can use ion list components para mag-wrap ng mga list and para mas maging maayos yung mga items natin. We will use ion items also para sa mga items natin sa list. So, let's have a sample para makita nyo kung ano yung magiging output whenever nagagamitin nyo ito. Again, if we will compare this into uh, HTML tags, it is like ordered list or an ordered list na kailangan maglagay ng li tag or list tag every time na magdadagdag tayo ng item sa list. So, I will go into comment this out and let's take a look. Okay, so remove na natin ito to have a better look and mas madaling ma-identify. Then inside, maglagay tayo ng text box. In HTML, we use input tag with attribute type na text. But instead of that, we will use ion input component. And here's the sample of text box ni Ionic. Again, we can use ion label para maglagay ng hint kay user kung ano ba yung itatype niya sa text box. So, as of now, inside our list, we have one item. And since yung mga ilalagay natin dito sa forms ay yung mga finifila pa natin sa contact tracing forms whenever napapasok tayo sa mga establishment, fast forward na natin kasi pare-pares lang naman yung mga format na gagawin natin dito. Bali, papalitan na lang natin yung mga label bawat items. So, here is our output. Look nice. And let's add another item for gender. We can use drop-down list or radio button on this one. When using HTML, we use input again with radio type. Of course, hindi natin gagamitin yan. Instead, gagamit tayo ng ion radio component. And bali ganito yung magiging itsura niya. Let's add ion label again para sa text na ilalagay natin kung para saan ba si radio na ito. Then, para makagawa tayo ng female item, copy lang natin tong item na to and then change male label into female. But, we have a problem. You see, hindi siya maklik and we can choose neither of these options. To resolve that, we need to wrap these two ion items na may male and female sa components na ion radio group. So as you can see, functionable na siya. And another optional details na ilalagay natin inside radio group is ion list header. And sa loob niya is maglalagay tayo ng ion label para sa pinaka main label ng ating gender option. After that, sa ibaba ng ion radio group is maglalagay tayo ng two items for age and temperature. 
Then for the last component, hindi na natin ilalagay sa ion item yung ion button na nakita nyo ng ginawa ko on the last video. So ito na ngayon yung itsura ng ating structure. So to have a final look sa structure natin ginawa, inside our home.page.html is ionic header and ionic content. Inside ionic header is ion toolbar with ion title sa loob. On the other hand, inside ion content is ion card na may dalawang element sa loob, the ion card header and the ion card content. If we will expand on ion header, we can see our ion card title and ion card subtitle. And in ion card content naman, we have label and ion list. Inside ion list are ion items na nandyan yung mga input, button, and isang ion radio group. And isang ion radio group. We're in my ion list header and dalawang ion item na male and female. So important thing to remember on creating your structure is the hierarchy or yung pagkakanest ng mga elements natin. Yung tipong tama ba yung pagkakalagay ng mga contents sa bawat components, wala bang naka-offset na ibang item sa group, or etc. And again, those components na ginagamit natin are available sa documentation ni Ionic on their website, ionicframeworks.com, under Developers tab, UI Components. I choose few components lang to discuss properly the structure ng gagawin nating app, but you can use other different components from the site para paglaruan and i-explore. Okay, so... Ano ba si attributes? Attribute provides additional information about uh, components. And uh, basically, madali lang ma-recognize si attributes. So, meron kayong makikita ang equal sign tapos yung value. Ganyan yung makikita si attributes. So, ganyan yung parang pinaka-format na meron sa kanya. And siya ay inilalagay sa opening uh, tag or opening uh, web component. So, paano malalaman naman ngayon na opening yung pinaglalagyan niya? So, tanggalin muna natin si attribute and tanggalin din muna natin ito. So, kung mapapansin ninyo, this is the opening and then this is the closing. So, paano natin malalaman na closing yan? It is because of this uh, forward slash. Okay? So, again, ulitin ko lang. Si uh, attribute ay inilalagay dun sa opening tag or opening ng component natin which is ganito yung format natin. Now, if you will going to the documentation of Ionic, bukod sa pinagbabasehan natin na usage, meron pa kayong makikita sa ilalim na properties wherein may mga attributes, types, and values na pwede ninyong ilagay sa specific component na ginagamit ninyo. Again, we put Attributes on the opening of the web component following this format. The attribute, then the value or type. Now, palitan lang natin ito and gawin natin placeholder. And the value na pwede natin ilagay is string, null, or undefined. Let's try string, pero ang tinutukoy na string dito is yung kahit na anong text or string ang ilagay natin. Okay, so palitan natin ng meaningful na placeholder bawat input. So for example, kung last name siya, magbigay tayo ng example ng last name para mas guide si user sa paggamit ng application. Now, let's use slot attribute naman kay Ion Radio. Yung slot attribute is yun yung magiging position ng ating bilog na nagsaserve as indicator ni user na ito yung pinili niya. So, meron siyang value na start and end.
in Sublime, they have a lot of shortcuts na po pwedeng mas makapagpadali ng coding natin. Instead na itatype ko isa-isa, hold natin yung control key, then click tayo dito. With this, pwede na tayong mag-type ng code natin and multiple lines na yung na-update. Okay, we will use type attribute and the uh, value of this one is number. The idea of this one is hindi makakapag-type ng letters si user sa age and temperature. Kasi dapat numbers lang yung inilalagay natin dito. Unlike dun sa last name, first name, barangay, municipality, and other input. And lastly, let's add one attribute sa button which is expand and lagyan natin ng value na block. And that is the end of our chapter 2, the structure. We will go to uh, talk about on the next uh, episode, the uh, design part of this one. Thank you and God bless.